The worst game hunt of 2023 continues with this month's nominee, Scary Stranger Gorilla Pranks. Let me ask you a question, what's the worst type of game in the world? I'll tell you, mobile games ported to PC. And we're in luck today because Scary Stranger Gorilla Pranks is one of those. This game is a complete fucking nightmare. So let's boot it up and find out why. What are we waiting for? Sure is promising when the first impression of the game is covered with an ad. Oh, there's another one. Sick. The game opens with a stunning cutscene as our hero contemplates his existence. What, what is, is this life? life? Oh no. Whoa. This, this is, is my, my chance. chance. I should, I should run, run away, away and, and hide. hide. Oh, oh no, no, they are looking for me. me. Okay, so I guess this guy didn't even get scratched in what was quite a violent accident. And I won't even bother asking how he got out of the vehicle. So to evade this guy, our gorilla hides in the nearby house. But oh no. The family's coming home, which means it's time for our gorilla to hide again. One of the first things players of Scary Stranger Gorilla Pranks will notice when playing the game is holy moly, the gorilla controls and camera controls are some of the worst you will ever experience. I can't wait to die. I don't know how much of this is to do with the fact that I was playing it on my PC considering it's a mobile game, but still, the fundamental act of walking around the house would be enough to destroy this game if everything else in it was perfect. Perfect. Which it clearly fucking isn't. This looks like a good hiding spot. Yep, perfect. So I guess I'll just wait here until something happens. Oh, there's a marker. I guess my hiding spot isn't good enough for you. And unfortunately, this is pretty much the extent of the gameplay. Walk to the marker. Walk to the marker. Whether you're walking to a hiding spot, walking to bed to sleep with children. Yes, I know how that sounds, but don't shoot the messenger. It's in the game. Oh. Ah! Whether you're putting mud in mum's food or... Ah, yeah, that's the other thing you're doing. Constantly watching ads. Ah, oh, food, yummy. yummy. What's this? Rocks. Ah, so it's like Hitman, except instead of the throwable distraction being justified in the environment like coins at a marketplace, there just so happens to be a pile of rocks in the living room. Right. So now that he's turned his back, our sneaky gorilla can get his hands on the goods. Nice. I, I am, am so, so stinky. stinky. So now we do the same stuff with the same intolerable walking controls. Throw a brick to distract mum and get in the pool to clean. It is games like this that force me to bring up the point that as far as I know, the purpose of games is to be fun. Is this fun? Well, no. Oh dear, look at that. I will not spare whoever did this. I will kill you. Delightful news for someone who cares. What am I meant to be doing? I can't move, am I supposed to? Oh no. <laughs> All right, so what I was supposed to do is spam the run icon and the game does the rest for me. In other words, all the potential fun of a chase segment such as navigating obstacles and the environment is removed. So mum chases our gorilla hero out of the house and slams the gate. Luckily, there's a ladder right here, allowing our gorilla to instantly return to the private property because even even though he originally only went there to hide momentarily. This, this mansion, mansion is huge, huge and, and amazing. amazing. It, it has, has everything, everything that I could, I could ever dream of. Unfortunately, it's not yours though, is it, buddy? The real question we should be asking is, do I want to continue? The answer, no. I've seen enough. The positives. And the negatives. Just about everything here is complete dog shit, but I guess if I had to narrow it down to just a couple points, the unbearable controls and the repetitive no room for fun gameplay. I hate this game, it makes me unhappy. So there it is, the second nominee for the worst game hunt of 2023. The competition is still open for submissions until November 2023, so check out this video if you want to enter. And subscribe to see what garbage games and other shenanigans I have in store.